Hello! For those of you who have been thinking of making some cables and how do you crimp on those lugs in order to get a nice tight fit onto big cables, well, today we're going to show you how to do that. First, obviously you're going to need to determine what wire size you have. I have a one gauge wire here, a one AWG wire, which is actually capable of transferring I think up to 211 amps fixed. Uh, of course, depends on how long you're going to be running that cable, but in our situation we're going to be running that cable maximum three feet it's basically going to go to uh, an inverter onto the batteries which i'll give you a, a short clip on but this video is on making cables for those that don't know so first off one of the first things you want to do is make sure that the cable you have is the correct size of the lug you're going to be putting on don't make the same mistake i did i have a two awg lug trying to put it on a one AWG wire and uh, uh, it doesn't work so good <laughs> when you're messing around with electricity you definitely want it to work good nice secure and you don't want it to come off so we're going to give you a rundown on how that works today and show you to successfully do it to safely do it and we'll get on the way you're going to need to have a professional crimping tool now i did go to the electrical store a professional electrical store they wanted hundred and seventy five dollars for a same type of a tool I think I paid twenty five dollars for this one on Amazon it works perfect I've been using it a lot it is a iwis HX 50 bi I'll put it in the description for those if they're looking for it this thing works really nice and it's also settable so you know you have the one gauge you can set it to an eight gauge a six gauge a four gauge and both sides so this is a really nice tool multiple gauges for crimping and then of course your lug goes over the top of these and you just once you've stripped your wire you put your lug in there and you crimp down on it we'll go through that in the video you're gonna need something to strip off the plastic wiring these cables are extremely rigid they don't like to bend Extra. the other thing you're gonna want to have is some shrink wrap buy some good quality shrink wrap if you haven't these are really nice Basically so slip these on over the wires. Once you finish the crimping job, apply a little heat to your little butane lighter and it will shrink right up, make a professional connection, and you're all good to go. I use this pilot here for marking the wire. One of the other things you're gonna to wanna to definitely think of when you're making these wires, making these cables, you'll connect the one end, go over there, connect it, emulate that you're gonna basically connect it, put it on to whatever it is you're gonna be connecting it to, Take the other end, run it to wherever you need to go. In my case, I did that. You can see they're cross-eyed. Why? This one will connect one way. This one bends down and basically connects that way. I went over and tested it three times, marked it with a pilot. I want to make sure that I have it correct. So it saves myself a headache later when I'm over there because trying to get this to bend the direction you want it to go when the lug has been placed already is not going to be that easy. So it'll save you some time, some headaches, and keep everything running smooth. So in this case, I will be running from the negative here down to the bus bar here. I am going to need that placed to get through there in that direction going down. So you're going to want to grab your pilot, put a correct mark in that area where I have my thumb and you're ready to go. Okay, so once you measure and find out exactly the direction you're going to need to mount that lug. You put a little mark on there. I used a pilot in this case. Marked right over this lettering here. Remember we do need to put on a knock. So you have to allow some space there. Or go back and triple check your work. Put that on. Do some more cutting here. Remember to not apply too much pressure here, just enough to go through most of the plastic, not all of it. Use the pliers to finish off the rest of the work. By turning it here, rotating it. I want to inspect that wire really good. Make sure that it's not all cut up or anything here or damaged. It's nicked a little, but it's such a small or such a large wire and such a small nick that it's not going to cause any problem whatsoever. 
inspection's good. Normally I twist these, but as you can see, these are extremely thick cables. And I'll give you the quick display of a 1 AWG wire and a 2 AWG lug. It almost fits, and you can try a vise and everything else to get it on there, <laughs> but it doesn't work. So you definitely want to put on your 1 gauge, your 1 AWG, get it fitted on. And in this case, we don't have to worry about what direction we put it on because it is the first one. We do, however, want to put on our shrink wrap ahead of time. If we have the other end on there, it's a possibility that the shrink wrap won't fit. So we'll put it over the top. We'll fit our lug over the top, make it as secure as we can. Inspect the wire. Wire looks perfect. No nicks even in the wire. Get our lug on there and pull over our trusted wire crimper. It does, I believe, one gauge wires up to, I think it does up to eight. Yes, it does, up to eight gauge. Kind of nice because you can actually set the settings here. I don't know if you can see those, but you have one gauge, two gauge, three, or four. You have uh, nine gauge. Or is it eight? My eyes are getting bad. So here we've got the one. We've got the one gauge right here. Set the other side to one. And we're ready to crimp. Get our lug nice and securely fastened on there. Get our tool over it. Putting a light amount of pressure on there, holding it in with my other index finger there. Making sure it got a nice fit and pushing down using the leverage of the table. Nice and easy. Do it again. Just to make double sure here. Crimp it down on the side again just to make sure. And we got a solid bite. Now, double check and triple check that you're gonna want to pull on it and make sure that it's extremely snug and that there's no issues inspect it looks pretty good no issues nice solid crimp pull up the shrink wrap over the top grab our trusted butane lighter and apply gentle heat not too much, not too little, just enough to get it to heat up without getting it to start on fire. You can see it shrinks right down. Do that to the other side. And we are ready to go. Beautiful. A nice solid fit and on to the other side so basically we'll repeat this on the other side but the most important thing you want to do and remember when working with this rigid of a wire it's not easy to bend it around so if I just put a lug on the end of this say directly the same direction and I need to twist it around get it to actually fit to a different area I might need it absolutely on the other side. So you're going to want to take this over to whatever it is you're fastening it to. Simulate or emulate that you're actually going to connect it. Run your opposite side to where it needs to go. Mark it how you're going to actually put on that other lug. Because once it's crimped, you're not going to be bending this wire around too darn easy in order to get it crimped on correctly and fastened correctly to whatever it is that you're fastening it to. And one thing with wires, you're going to definitely want a good connection. That's the whole idea. Of crimping these with a professional tool with a professional lug onto a solid cable so I got an audience now in this video so <laughs> I'm kind of nervous I'm gonna start sweating so anyways that concludes our cable making I hope you found this uh, interesting I hope you learned something um, I know I have maybe you can learn from my mistakes and only have to watch the video in order to do it right the first time Costs you a lot of time, a lot of headaches, a lot of frustration. Keeps the job more fun. 
keeps you going forward and keeps your uh, enthusiasm up so they can continue to do new jobs. I've got both of my now. I'm going to go install them and um, figure out another video I'm going to make. So happy DIYing, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.